Hello and welcome, welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to talk about my five favourite Royal Enfield 650 Twin Customs. Now these are just my five favourite bikes in no particular order, so watch the video, let me know what you think in the comments, feel free to share your favourite custom projects as well and don't forget to check out the description where I've got links to some of the socials of some of the owners of these bikes as well and thank you very much to all of them for sending me some videos and images that we can use to showcase the beauty of these five Royal Enfield 650 Twin custom projects. Let's get looking at them. Now I did say the list was in no particular order, but we do have to start somewhere. So first up is Project Lilith. Project Lilith is an Interceptor 650 owned by Timothy Antonucci, and what a phenomenal job he's done. Let's start with the cosmetics. I love all the blacked out parts in this bike. Blacked out headlights, blacked out brackets, bars, levers, pegs. And this isn't just a case of attacking the bike with a can of hammer, right? right? These are all high quality aftermarket options. Pegs from Tech Bike Parts, Renthal Ultra Low Bars, Hitchcock's levers, the list goes on. Meaning though, if you wanted to take influence from this bike, you can buy these parts yourself and you can find a full list of the mods over on Timothy's website, which is worked.com and I'll drop a link in the description to that also. What really sets this bike apart cosmetically, obviously though, is that rear end. The Royal Enfield single seat with the black cowl, and Timothy went the extra mile and shortened the back end with a rear loop which he welded, finished and painted himself. And I'm sure you'll agree to an unbelievably high standard. It's not all about cosmetics though, we've got some performance upgrades here as well. So we've got the YSS rear shocks and front springs, the k &M performance filter with the snorkel delete, and of course the beautiful 2 into one exhaust system from Tech Bike Parts right here in the UK. Let's take a second just to enjoy the soundtrack from this bike. Project Lilith is a stunning example of a homemade, custom bike with real character and real personality. I've always said the Interceptor is just such a great base for customisation and I think this bike absolutely proves that. Again, for a full list of mods and to check out Timothy's Instagram and website, jump into the description and you'll find all the links that you need there. Project Lilith is a worthy bike to have up here first on our list here today. Now let's move on to the next one. Next up on our list is the Enfield Sled, which is owned by Quint Smith, an owner here in the UK. Now again, if I want this video to be less than about an hour long, I'm going to have to just be a bit brief on all of the mods that I list. So let's pick the ones that really make this bike stand out. First off, and the biggest one I think, that hand-painted tank is absolutely stunning. It makes for a true one-off custom build. And those bars as well, those big, wide raked back bars really give this the proper sled look and it just looks fantastic. The quilted flat tracker brat style seat, the tech 2 into one exhaust system, and Quince paid some attention to detail here, we've got a lot of really nice little finishing touches as well. Like the brass crank plug, the custom switch gear, just a really, really nice bike. And Quince rocking the scrambler look with the uh, Hydeno Scout tyres on here as well. Overall, a really beautiful machine. As I said, it's really hard to list all of the mods for each of these bikes without the video becoming just far too long for anyone to watch. However, what I do know is that Quint sent me a full list of modifications and got a bit of a fright once he totaled up the cost. But it's worth saying, with an Interceptor 650 like this, even with all these customizations, you're probably still spending around the same or less than you would for a brand new Street Twin from Triumph, for example. So it just goes to showcase how great a base this makes for customization and just how great value these bikes are as well if it is something that you want to buy with the aim to customize it in the future. But Quint's Enfield sled with those big bars, that lovely hand-painted tank, the scrambler look with the two into one exhaust system and that custom seat, just absolutely stunning. A real beauty of a bike, a real head turner and worthy of its place on this top five list. All right, number three on the list is this stunning army green scrambler, which is owned by a guy in the UK who goes by the name of Spike. Absolutely beautifully finished in the army green with that high level scrambler mudguard at the front, fully blacked out headlight, indicators, casings, rocker cover, that high level scrambler exhaust with the black heat shield, those knobbly tires, this bike is absolutely stunning. Given a strong Pegasus vibes with the dispatch number on the tank there as well, the tail tidy, blacked out rear light as well, 
just an absolutely stunning example of an Interceptor 650 Scrambler build. I absolutely love this bike. And this bike for me is my evidence that actually when you put the Interceptor 650 Scrambler build like this side by side with a Triumph Scrambler, in my opinion there's no contest which one makes the better looking Scrambler. Of course that's entirely a matter of opinion but I just think that Spike's green Scrambler is absolutely top notch. Alright, the penultimate bike on this list is my evidence that sometimes less is more. This is Magpie. Magpie is owned by Wreck-It Wren, who you may be aware of as she has a fairly large following on Instagram. This is the first Continental GT on our list as well. Magpie is a Continental GT in the Mr. Clean colorway with a few very tasteful mods to really make it stand out from the crowd. The obvious one is staring us right in the face, is that big beautiful fairing which has been finished in chrome to match the tank and it's absolutely stunning. We have some other mods on here as well of course, we've got an aftermarket exhaust system, we've got the bash plate on there, there's the rear seat cowl as well which really kind of finishes that whole cafe racer look. It looks like we've also got a tail tidy on Magpie as well, but ultimately this is a really understated build that again just showcases that sometimes less is more. This bike is absolutely stunning. If like me, you're really interested in finding out more about this fairing, then go and check out Wreck-It Ren on Instagram. I'll leave some links in the description as well. Not only can you find out more about the fairing, but Ren's Instagram page is fantastic. She uploads content regularly and it all really focuses quite heavily on Magpie, this little Continental GT, so well worth a follow. And the final bike on my list for a couple of different reasons is the Silver Spectre uh, owned by Raj uh, from the YouTube channel Ride with Raj. Um, now I love Raj's channel, he's got loads of informative information on there, I've been watching his channel since before I got an Interceptor actually. Uh, what I really like about this bike is the alloy wheels. Now a lot of people don't like the idea of the alloy wheels on the Interceptor, it's not a particularly authentic look. Having the alloy wheels with tubeless tyres, super practical. I had a puncture on my bike recently and what an absolute hassle to try and get the bike picked up. I was stranded on the way home from work. What could have been a two minute fix if I had tubeless tyres, I would have been carrying a puncture kit. So no doubt it's a very practical thing to do. Raj's bike is always getting little updates here and there. Uh, as you can see in the video that we're showing here, Raj has the regular handlebar on there. Uh, with the alloy wheels. I love the look of the Silver Spectre tank with the brown seat, in fact it's actually inspired me to make some changes to my bike as well which you'll be seeing in the future too. Um, but Raj is always tinkering with the bike and adding new bits here and there, you can see he's got some custom indicators and various other parts on there uh, and actually recently his bike has changed dramatically, he's now fitted this cafe racer seat with the cowl um, he's got a drag bar fitted on there as well, which I think looks really, really cool on the Interceptor. Again, something that I might even try doing myself. Uh, drag bar on bar visors, just almost the same ergonomics, but a really different overall look for the bike. I think it looks really cool. Uh, we've got new custom tail light on there and different indicators again. A really simplistic, stylish look, but different than your average Interceptor and a really nice bike overall. And that's it for this video. Now, I know you're probably thinking there's some really crazy customs out there and I've seen them all as well but a lot of them come from custom houses, you've got your bikes from WSW in Thailand and all these places and yes they're fantastic but these are built by people with all the time and all the money to do those jobs. I prefer to look at a bike that somebody's tinkering with and, and modifying at home, um, something that you know that appeals to me because it's what I want to be doing with my bike. Now do me a favour and do yourself a favour, jump into the description and you'll find links to the social media channels of a few of the owners of these bikes that I've showcased in this video today. Speaking of content creators, speaking of support, I just want to make a little thank you here. Uh, I asked in one of my previous videos to help me get to a thousand subscribers and I'm now at 1.2k. So a huge, genuine, heartfelt thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. If you've not subscribed and you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I've been really busy lately so I've been a bit quiet but I do have some plans on pushing out a lot more content going forward and hopefully this channel is going to grow into something that you're going to enjoy on the regular. So again, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take it easy.